So, uh, after some requests, we're going to start doing some, some tool review videos on Tuesdays. We're going to call it Tool Tuesday. This is going to be the, the first iteration of that. Uh, today we're going to be comparing the CT761 you've heard me bash on in the past and the Milwaukee M12 stubby. This is my go-to every day. Just uh, some, some basic facts. The CT761 from Snap-on is $514. With the kit, that's two batteries in the charger. One year warranty on the tool and the battery. Um, they're rating it at 120 foot pounds of breakaway torque. Uh, I tend to agree with that sometimes, sometimes not. Top to bottom of the battery is seven and seven sixteenths of an inch. It's an inch and three quarter wide here at this widest spot. And it's six and a half inches long and ample tip at the back of the tool. Um, one thing I do like about it is the rocker switch design. I do like that versus having to switch back and forth with the traditional locking bar. Uh, M12 stubby, uh, it comes from Home Depot. I've had it for probably close to two years now. It gets used every day by everybody. Uh, they're running right now at Home Depot for $299. That's for two batteries and charger. Uh, the tool has a five year limited warranty, Milwaukee's warranty. I'm not sure exactly all that covers. I wouldn't. Was too lazy to, to read all the information. And it's rated for 250 pounds, 250 foot pounds of breakaway torque. Um, it is eight and seven eighths of an inch tall with battery. Two and three eighths wide, and just four and three quarter from anvil tip to the back of the tool. So to compare them, we've built a test rig here. It's just got a stud with a 19 millimeter bolt. And then we're going to start out at 50 foot pounds. Uh, Zeke's here in the background. He's going to time it from the time we start to the time it actually breaks loose and free spins. So we're going to start that here in just a second. So we're going to start out at 50 foot pounds. There's 50. And we're going to use a 19 millimeter snap on socket. We'll start with the CT here. Zeke, you ready with the timer? Yep. Hold it up here. Okay. All right, ready and. So, just a little over a second there. Or 50 pounds. Should be well within its limits. So we're going to use the same socket, the M12, and we're going to set it to three. That's only got one setting, which is wide open, so I think that's fair enough to run this in wide open. Both of them have fresh full batteries. All right, complete. Ready? A little faster than he can get it stopped. So what he's showing is 0.83 of a second. So we're going to run this up to 80 foot pounds. It's going to be our next stop on the on the test ring. Really a test on my weld on this stud right here. All right, back to the CT761. Whenever Zeke gets ready here. And. Sorry, I messed that up. <laughs> it was second and a quarter, is what it was reading. About the same. Yeah. 
Where are we going to go to? We're going to go to 100 now? I reckon. Right, we'll go to 100. My words. <laughs> <laughs> I may be. I know everybody's gonna say that you know we, we compared it to the the mid torque snap on gun, but to me it's a 12 volt gun versus a 14 volt gun. They're both in kind of the same category to me, so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm sorry about your opinion, but that's my and go. Point six zero. So we're going to go to 120. That's what they said that she'd do. So let's see what she'll say here. And I know there's a lot of people who tested these things way on up from what they're supposed to be. So let's see how stout she really is. This is 120 foot pounds. Broke it loose with authority. Did do that. All right, 120 foot pounds. And seven, seven. We need a better timer. Well, I'm getting as good as I can here. <laughs> it breaks them loose too fast, what he said. All right. <clears throat> that was the, the limit for that one. We're going to go up 10 pounds. We'll go to 130. And go. She got it. She got it. Now the goal here is we're gonna go till she won't go anymore. 120 foot pounds. Second. Not even struggling yet. No. So let's go up 10 more pounds. 140. Pounds over what they said he'd do. Got it. Two seconds. I'm just surprised my weld holding. <laughs> I'll tell you what you ought to do. Just crank that on up till the snap on quits and see if it may walk you a little. Alright. Let me try this in 140. And then we'll do that. Nine two. Well, that's 
Thank you, please. I'm going to feed. I think she's doing so good. So, what Mac is recommending, we're going to run this until it quits, and then we'll see if the sub will take it off. And go. Wait on a second, she got it. Well, we'll go up 10 more fans. 160. So she got one saving, I believe it will. It's still running pretty strong. I could be the torque in a minute. <laughs> so this is 160 foot fan. Maybe a house. Well, maybe it knows it's on camera because it didn't do that earlier. Actually, today. that was 170, guys. Sorry. I did it, Zeke. No, no, it did not. Got a hold of one earlier and said, mm. <laughs> <laughs> Made it in Spanish. Said, We ain't doing this. Here, I'm going to pull down in here for a second. One hundred and eighty foot pounds. About three limitations are revised too. <laughs> well, <laughs> you see the surprised look on everybody's face here. She's never played like that before, has she, man? No. Mm -mm. We'll make a liar out of us right here on TV. Well, let's see what she's got 190. See if my well's got 190 in it. <laughs> 190 foot pounds. Done it. You had to beat on a second, but you got it. You seen it here first, folks. What was that torque wrench right at that? I got 200. This is the last, the last two raw for it. And then we'll have to go get something a little bit bigger. <laughs> Out of comparison, let's see what Milwaukee do with this lady. Yeah. We just kind of count on quitting, to be honest with you. Now we were wrong, I'm snap on man. I have not been impressed with that. Until now. Well, it makes a difference too. This is a good, good clean nut, good yeah. clean bolt. Yeah. No rust. Let's see if we can get a bigger stick. 
Or what we're going to do, we're going to take it on up to 250. That's supposed to be the limit for the, the Milwaukee. And then as far as we can go, it's 275. We'll actually go to 300 with this one. But it's not going to be fun at any point in time during this. I'm going to get a short clock. Get him on there. There it is. Now it broke the wheel. Oh, I think it broke the bolt off. <laughs> so, to be continued. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. So, both Milwaukee and the Snap On went to 200 uh, foot pound of torque breakaway. This gun is much more expensive. It's also lighter, smaller, easier to get in places. Uh, this gun is cheaper, more readily available, easier to find, longer warranty, uh, and stronger. Didn't struggle near as much as the Snap-on did in the higher foot pounds. Uh, I will say though, it's, it's kind of changed my opinion though. Yeah, I'm impressed with a little booger. But once again, this was done on good clean bolt and nut. Uh, we've experienced multiple times this one, the snap-on will lay down and uh, Milwaukee will come take it off. Of course, it's rated higher, but it, they're both 3 drive guns. You would hope they would both be comparable. It's just this little 12 volt. <clears throat> yeah, just a little, little 12 volt. Anyhow, thanks for watching.